This video will compare functions with a return type versus functions with a void type. At the end of the day, when you're writing your functions from scratch, it's important to know the difference between a void function and a function with a return. So let's start writing this code. My boss wants me to take a number and multiply it by 9000. Don't ask me why. So we'll start by adding our hash include IO stream, followed by using namespace standard. And now the most basic function written in most of your C++ code as a driver up to this point is a function with a return, an in function main that returns zero. So again, my boss wants me to take a number and multiply it by 9000. We'll start by initializing a num variable and a num2 variable and then prompting the user to enter a number. Then we will take in our first num variable and we'll set num2 equal to the function that will multiply this number by 9000. We'll call this function times 9000 and it will take in this first num variable. Then we'll display num2 to the user. Now we'll write our main function or not the main function, the times 9000 function. This will be a function of time of type int, we'll call it times 9000, I'll take in one integer, And now when we compile this, it should give us our original number multiplied by 9000. In order to do this, we'll run the command cl slash capital EHSC void dot cpp. When we run void, we're prompted to enter a number. We enter the number 9, and look at that, it multiplies it by 9000. So I turn in this code for review, and my boss is not impressed. They're asking us to change the function type to void and to shorten the code by at least two lines. I think we can do this. So first, we'll have to change this function type to void. And to do this, just write void right here, and we'll take away the return. But now, since this function isn't returning our number times 9000, we'll need to have the function output our number multiplied by 9000. And since this is in the void function now, we can erase it from our original code. In fact, we can take out the entire variable num2. And instead of setting num2 equal to times 9000, we can take that out and just run the function because it's already handling this print. So when we save this, we can go back to our compiler, run CLS to clear the screen, press the up arrow to cycle through past commands, find our compiling command CL slash capital EHSC void dot CPP, hit enter, run void again, it asks us to enter a number, we enter 9, and we're given back the correct answer of 81,000. So this comparison between void functions versus return functions can sometimes elude even the most skilled programmers, but knowing and understanding the difference can have powerful effects on your code. A return function is initialized by its return type. 
It may perform some task or a series of tasks, but most importantly, a function with a return returns something. A void function is initialized by the void type. It performs some task or a series of tasks and returns nothing. Thank you.